Toku Lobsan Rinpoche, thank you for being here. It's wonderful to meet again. It's been about 12 years ago that you were one of the first masters who taught me about meditation and the mind. And that was the beginning of a life-changing transformation, really changed my life. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And that's the reason why I want to share your knowledge and your wisdom with so many other people. So I'd like to discuss a few topics with you. Compassion, um, meditation, wisdom, and peacefulness. But first, I'm very curious about you, something more personal, about when you were younger. Can you take us back in your life? How did you become a monk teacher? Uh, <clears throat> when, when I was seven or six, seven years old, <clears throat> Uh, I went to monastery as a monastery uh, <clears throat> education, and uh, then when I'm 13 years old, what uh, Tibetan Buddhists believe, what you call reincarnation lama, I become one of the reincarnation lama. Of course, then I'm changing to this, the local monastery to another big monastery and then, then another monastery I changed a few monasteries and uh, <clears throat> I'm until one until I'm 70 years old I to I be in Tibet then I'm in Tibet to went to India and then also I continue studies in India to the, one of the big uh, uh, monastery is uh, I don't remember then around maybe me twenty five or twenty six. It's, it's like school. Yes. It's teaching. Yes, yes. But when you were young, and you went to the monastery. You were living with your parents, or you go to the monastery and you live there with the monks. I think uh, everybody lived a different, but in my case, I go to live with the monks, and uh, I don't remember. We don't have really say weekend, but uh, sometime I go back to home to stay, or sometimes my parents visit. It's it's look like little boarding school, you mm -hmm. call. Uh, you sleep there and you eat in there. Uh, but uh, some young monks, that's no problem. They're very happy and some have a challenge. <laughs> or maybe they need to go back, stay with their mm -hmm. to, to family. Yeah. But yes. You once told me that it is hard for most people to ask the right questions. You told me if you know how to ask the right question, you also know the answer at that moment. What can you teach people how to ask better questions? I, yes. <clears throat> I always to say people, we are human beings is a very special species because we pass about question and the question make we are growing or become better. Therefore, I always say, question is not the Buddha, but question is, I always say, is the, what's a representative of a living Buddha. Uh, I always say, uh, who don't have any question, maybe who enlightened or maybe most ignorant man and woman is a dangerous person. If you don't ask questions, yes, then you know everything. Yes. If you don't have any question, maybe you're, I mean, when you, you, you are enlightened or you are something so special or you are one of the most ignorant man or woman in the earth. Therefore, in, they have a four important question, I think. 
what in the Buddha's teaching is what you call Four Noble Truths. You know, Buddha is, Buddha is born out of the question. Therefore, in this Four Noble Truth is the first truth, where are you now? Truth of where are you now? Yes, the first question, you have a question is good, but you need the right time to have a right kind of question. First question, question of where are, where are we now? And what now. do you mean by that? Where are we now in the mind? Oh, mind or with life. With the body, in body, life. Everything. And then second question, because of once you have a question of where are we now, and then you automatically you have a question of how we come. How, how we, we come, come here. here now, or how we come here. The best way how we come here. Yes. And that's, uh, then you automatically have a third question coming, where are we going? First question, you need the question of where are we now, or what we're doing here, or where, where are we now? And then automatically you have second question, where we come from, or how we come here. And then you automatically have third question, where are we going? And then you have the last question, how we go there. And that is the this is one question, but one question we make four pieces. In this question, is possible give a, I mean, this is, the, this is the one of the biggest questions ever possible have a, the human... Yeah. Uh, yes. Gives a lot of clarity. Mm -hmm. Where we came from, where we're going to, how mm. we get there. Mm -hmm. And if you think about that, mm -hmm. you will find a path for your life. Correct. That order is very important. This order, the question, the order, where are we now? How we come here? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? How we go? Yeah. This order is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how come so many people in the world are confused or lost? Mm -hmm. They lost the way, they don't know where they are, mm -hmm. and they have no idea where they are going. Mm -hmm. How come? Well, maybe I like to say this way. They have a noise and a voice. The, the, in, this, in this moment, in this world, have so much noise. Noise is something what we call to hear, of course. And we are running behind the noise and we don't have, a, we don't have a time to listen in, in the, our inner voice. The only one moment you go to really hear the inner voice, the moment of death. Because the moment of death, all of noise go to silence. But maybe you're too late. I want, I mean, I want become this, I want to do this. You know, all this kind of noises, you know. Noise is more louder and louder and louder. And you never go to hear your true voice. And what do you mean by noise? Because it's the the noise in the world, in your in your mind, in your head, the world around you. Yes. So you cannot hear the silence inside of you. Yes. What I mean, noise means, uh, uh, example, we always, I mean, we are running behind many things. 
I don't know, we try to go to build something. We are, uh, we are, we are so much busy outside world. And we never have time to listen in or look in or take time ourselves. Therefore, that's what I mean, noise. We are so much running outside world. And we don't have time to ourselves or we don't have time to listen ourselves. We don't have time to really to ask ourselves what we really wanted us. Because the noise is too loud, you know? To it's social media. To become famous. Telephone. Or to become rich or to become nice. I don't know. It's, we always want to become something mm -hmm. outside. It's nothing wrong you become famous or rich or something. But that is not to give answer you of what you're really looking for. So what should we do? I think it's most important thing is I always say people mother planet is just hotel we are guest in this hotel next 20,000 day me now around 50 like 45 years old I think and um, oh, let's say this way and uh, I stay maybe now 20,000 day more means 55 years 55 years 20,000 day you know now I'm 40 let's say 5 is I stay 20,000 day more is uh, after 20,000 day I'm 100 years old man you know, everybody running behind life, 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 life. But me, life means only 20,000 day. Life is just a big illusion. It's you and me, what you call life. Maybe you and me is a slave of life, the army of the life. We are fighting because of life. We are doing so many things because of life. But life is not to stay with us forever. Only next 20,000 days. Think this way. Then maybe you don't uh, run in doing many things, unnecessary things. Therefore, Mother Planet is just a hotel. We are guests. Temporary. Temporarily. Therefore, one day, Mr. Death, call in your room number. And Mr. Death never make a mistake. <laughs> Once he call, You get to check out. You need to check out. Therefore, if you really want to Live a good life, never forget the death. Because the death is the one of most honest teachers. Of course, life gives you many questions, but you always find a way to not give answer. But there are one question you never possible to run away. That is the death. Death is the marrow. Once you stand in front of death, you are just simple naked man and woman. You are not longer master. You are not longer important. Death is is a marrow where you see yourself is naked. Otherwise, you're hiding behind your names, titles. Therefore, death is the one of most important questions or one of the most important remembering. Yes, I know a little painful, but this pain 
is good pain is helping you. But it will take a long time before you die. And a lot of people are afraid of death, of dying. Some people are so afraid of dying, they are not able to live because they're always afraid. They're always running. Or they think, I only have 20,000 days. I must run faster now because I must do more. <laughs> yes, of course, you possible think also this way. Uh, yes, of course, but uh, is the is the I always say in people, life is just one day. You born in the one day, and you live in the one day, you die in the one day. Everything what happening in the one day. Today is only your life. Yesterday is already dead. Too late. Tomorrow is not born. Too early. What you have is today. Today is the only life. Mm -hmm. Today is not the little part of life. Today is life. It's all. Yes. Therefore, we need to make enjoy or happy every day. Not next year. You don't say me, I want happy life. That's illusion. Don't say me, you know, I just want to say, I want happy day. Once you have a happy day, I think you have a happy life. Mm -hmm. Why do so many people do not understand this principle? Because a lot of people, they fight. They have conflict. They have fear, anxiety. Mm -hmm. they don't like each other mm -hmm. they make war mm -hmm. also these people only have 10 or 20 thousand more days mm -hmm. why should they fight you know so many people you you meet so many people mm -hmm. can you explain because i i can imagine i think in my opinion mm -hmm. most people are here to to be kind mm -hmm. to love mm -hmm. To, to share. And a lot of people cannot understand why other people always make war and fight. Why is that? Well, the Buddhism, we are a believe what say, uh, we all have a basic a good nature, let's say. We all have a nature of the happiness. Happiness is our unconditional nature. Of course, we also have a suffering nature, but the suffering is our conditional nature. You never possible suffering without condition. Is your suffering unconditionally? then you're never possible free of the suffering forever. Of course you're possible happy also conditionally, but you possible happy unconditionally. How you know that through of meditation, you know? When you meditate, you're not doing anything, you're not learning anything. Just let allow to be in the natural state. When you meditate, you possible feel good without any reasons, without compare, without competition. Of course, you possible also happy with compare and competitions. But this is a condition of happiness. Through of meditation, you possible discover. It's this unconditional happiness. You don't need a reason. You don't need what to say, compare and mm -hmm. competition. You're just happy. Just happy. It's just the state of being. Yes. Therefore, what I want to say, we all want happy. Nobody wants suffering. 
the question why we all want to be happy, wanting happiness beyond culture, beyond the religion. We have a different religion, we have a different culture, but everybody still wants to be happy. Why does wanting happiness, nothing, you know, wanting happiness is look like unconditional, you know. Conditions change, but still you want to be happy. Good people want to be happy, bad people want to be happy. Means happiness your nature, therefore you want to be happy. Mm -hmm. But yet, not everybody happy. Nobody want to suffer, but yet everybody leader, let's say, suffering. Mm -hmm. But you told me, in Buddhism you say, people suffer because they do not have enough intelligence. We have, let's say, two main reasons to we are suffering. One important reason of a suffering is a fear. And this, they have one important reason to we are not happy, expectation. Fear is a demon of yourself, And collective fear is the demon of a collective. Buddhism, we don't believe in demons, but fear is a demon. Inside you. Yes. And the fear makes to fight. Fear makes to war. If you have the collective consciousness yes. turning into a demon. Yes. Collective to fear to bring collective to yeah. war. People get angry, angry. and make war. Yes. Therefore, we say, fear is the part of hell. Mm -hmm. We don't need to go to die to go to hell. Once we follow our fears extremely, mm -hmm. we possibly create all rivals blood. Yeah. What What would you advise people to to learn to practice every day, like kindness, compassion? meditation what what are the the simple things people can do every day to make their life lighter with less anxiety less fear more happiness mm -hmm. what can they do well i think uh, we have a Maybe I say we have a three kind of knowledge is what the Buddhism call. One, we have a knowledge without learning and knowledge with learning. And then we have knowledge with meditation. Knowledge without learning, animals also have. We born with this knowledge. Example, anger. Attachment, jealous, ego, fear, expectations, all is a knowledge without learning. We never learn. Is it just there? Just there. We have it. It's in We the have. system. Yes. Is this knowledge really make you a better person? I don't think so. This knowledge is knowledge, but I think this knowledge is not enough. And then we go to learn. We learn how to do things right, we do things not do wrong, we learn philosophy, we learn this and that's this, this, and then we have knowledge learning. The knowledge learning is a more human thing, you know. And uh, the, the knowledge, you part, therefore we have second knowledge, knowledge with learning, Of course, is good, but uh, this knowledge is still really not enough. And then, um, number third knowledge, I say, knowledge of meditation. In the, I think in the West, there's so much, or modern world, we have so much believe learning. You know, through of learn, we think we pass both soft and knowledge. Yes, knowledge. Go to school, university. Go to knowledge. school, knowledge, learning, yeah. learning. Then we, you know, yes, yeah. you pass both many things. 
But maybe this is not really give answer of what you're really looking for. I don't know. The knowledge with learning, I don't know this make really peaceful world or not also mm-hmm. still. I'm not so much, of course, good, but I don't know. Knowledge without learning is dangerous. It make we look like animal. Knowledge, learning, we are look like t- sometimes we look like we are terrible human beings. Also, you know, it's not pure, but we need one kind of knowledge. What you call uh, knowledge of meditation. Therefore, I think it's a good idea. Everybody try to meditate every day. Let's say ten minutes. You make some exercise. Or we Tibetans we call lujong or yoga, any exercise, and then you ten minutes you meditate. Is meditation means you increase your awareness. You know, increase and awareness. Therefore, I always say twenty one minutes practice every day. In the twenty one minutes practice, change your day is changing of a day become changing of your changing of your life. Therefore, ten minutes you give your body and to make some yoga or lujong, and then ten minutes meditate. This meditate means just let allow to be nature state. And then, in the one minutes, I always say, you say eleven time. You know, you need eleven time. You say, I I go to I go to give my best in this world and myself. But after whatever come, I go to accept it happily. You giving your best. This is kindness, me. You don't expect more than this yourself. You give your best yourself in the world. You don't expect more than this. Still, things go wrong. Therefore, after whatever come, you say, "I happily accept it." That's me is compassion. You give in your best. That is me kindness. After things go wrong, and you accept it, or after things still not going well, and you accept it, this is me compassion. We need compassion and kindness. Compassion for yourself. Compassion yourself. Kindness yourself or compassion, kindness others. The toku. This sounds so easy. Mm-hmm. It's so hard. Yes. Because I agree with you, and I know. I spoke to a lot of young people lately, yes. and they're trying their best. Yes. Like you say, yes. try what you can do. Yes. If it not goes the right way, accept it. Tomorrow, n- new day, try again. Do your best. Especially young people have the feeling that there are so many expectations from the outer world, parents, friends, teachers, that they always have to overperform. So doing their best is not enough. So most of the time they cannot match the expectations. They get disappointed or angry. They feel depressed in the end. And they cannot accept. So it's the opposite of what you say. What you say is right, but it's so hard for some people to live that way. How can you help them trying to accept that it is what it is? Mm. We, we, we need to be. Maybe we let's say I'm sometimes make joke. We are maybe stupid, but we 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 should be not stupid to against the nature. You know, maybe I'm incredibly stupid, but I I'm not go to st- enough stupid. Let's say to A against bit. yeah in, <laughs> against the nature. You know, therefore in the. In the natural world, yes, is uh, not everything go to right, you know. Is you know, it's not everything go to right. 
And therefore, I think that's why we say we practice compassion. I always say people in the, especially Western world, let's maybe I'm not wrong, you have a very much a kind culture, means you're giving, you, you try to your best. You know, you try to best. But the danger of you doing best, you doing best is great, you give your best, you're doing your best, very generous city, society. But you have a very little tolerance if something go wrong. You know? We have a we have a, in the Buddhism always say the law of the law of the life because of a birth they have death. Birth is the only reason we have death. Is they have winning, they have a lose. The winning is the only reason to lose. Is that is nature. Therefore, you should be not against nature. Therefore, you do your best. You need to happy you doing your best. You don't, you know, you do your best. And you need to happy because that's what that's only what you possible do. Mm-hmm. But still things go wrong. You need to accept it. I think you need to train to that. Uh, therefore, I see in the, exactly what to say is the in the modern world or is the, the, the tolerant or acceptance is difficult later, you know. Therefore, I think we need to learn. It's something look like not only we learn to fight, but we need to learn to surrender. What do you mean by that? Well, I say not only we learn to, uh, you know, it's the, we have a saying, we not only learn to give, but we need to learn to take. Sometimes we give things what make we happy, but sometimes you also need to take things not make unhappy. Mm-hmm. Therefore, we are a world of giving and taking. I translate this, you know, sometimes we are f- fighting to, to reach somewhere, or fighting or whatever, it's good. But are you ready to surrender? Are you not ready to surrender? As I always say, never fight. Mm-hmm. Because, yes, uh, that means what, what I want to say in here, uh, uh, your what's it? Your your giving your best is just one part of your job. But other part of job, you need to accept it. What whatever come after is look like you know. What is the best gift in your life? Is a birth. Yes, celebrate of a birth. What go to I mean the what is the best gift us is. The, birth and uh, what we got to lose maybe death death is take everything birth give you everything birth is give you every everything but yes birth you give everything but death is take everything and in between it's up to you And me, what we make out of life. Correct. We make choices. Yes. We make decisions. Yes. We make good choices and bad choices. Yes. But we have to accept what we do and we try our best. Yes. Exactly. I always say people, sometimes look like I say, you know, I always say people is, uh, yeah, Mm. Sometimes people is so much fear of a mistake. Yeah. It's in the, our Western world, it's mistake have very little tolerance. It's little shame, mm-hmm. especially modern world, what you call very educated world. You know, it's just 
tiny mistake, this tiny mistake, and it's destroy the life of the people. People are afraid to make mistakes yes. because they think they will be punished. Their punishment or by their other people, other people, but also there's so much uh, unaccepted their self. Yeah. And you know, with this small mistake, they're just yeah. keeping in their head, and they make punishment themselves. Also, society, and you know, let's say I make ninety-nine percent. I did something good, society, ladies, gentlemen, isn't it? I'm not a god. Ninety-nine percent. Is this a fair karmically also? 99% I did something good in this earth, but the 1% I did something wrong. And because of the 1% you go to delete it, all of 99%. Is this is karmically also not happened. This, this is completely not correct. But we are look like this kind of society. Therefore, we are so much afraid of any mistake. Also, as not only society, we also don't accept ourselves. You know? Turkulovsan, I did 99 time, I did something good things, but I did something, maybe one, one thing I did wrong, and i just not happy of what I did it, I'm I punishment myself, you know. Therefore, I always say people, mm -hmm, is the, the mistake is a part of life, you know. You not loud people mistake, we never become better society. Mm -hmm. I always say is you don't want mistake or you not loud make mistake, one of the greatest mistake ever possible happen. Look at the societies who no loud make mistake. Is there is look like a zombie society. They're never growing. They're just to stay the same. Because you can grow from your mistakes. Yes. You can learn. Yes. Yeah. And the tolerance is low to themselves. Yes. And to other people in society as well. Mm -hmm. What can we do to get more inner peace? To have less fear? less fear of making mistakes, to experience more joy and peace inside oneself. I like to say this, what before continue is the, I always say, you, I, I, what I always say, <laughs> uh, you, you don't want to mistake one of the greatest mistake. But you do mistake, mistake with the benefit. And then sometimes people say, I just want I just want to wait until I know. I always say people, when you know, you don't need to decide it. Because some things we never possible know until we don't decide it. Sometimes I see my Western friends, they have so much fear of uh, decisions. Yeah. Why? Because they don't want the uh, mistake. Fear of loss. Yes. Therefore, I always say, that, sorry, that your question is a continue. Fear always make we are following our past. Expectation, let's say fear always make we are following of the problem of the past. Mm. Expectation always making we are waiting to happiness in the future. That's why fear is a demon of your life. Expectation is the enemy of happiness. It's the best practice of maybe to uh, to 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 reducing the fear. Maybe practice of letting go. Letting go. Yes, because we are sometimes many times we have we have. Because of fear, we are holding something what we don't like. 
we are keeping something what we don't like. We are, we are following something what we don't want it. Correct? Therefore, practice letting go. How do you practice letting go? Of course, it's letting go your possible practice with your meditation, you know. Example, when you deep breath, breathe out, you know, you maybe silently say, letting go, and letting go, you verbally say, letting go. And then one, and you try to feel, you say, and you try to feel, and then you discover the inner space. You become space. Through of practice of letting go, is what say you become space. Space is a space means then nothing make you hurt. Mm -hmm. Space or emptiness. Yes, emptiness or space. Because when you have a fear and you hold something, some kind of a solid or something, mm -hmm. you know, you hold it. Or you, you hold the fear. Yes, you hold something, yeah? But the practice of letting go, and then you become space or emptiness, whatever you call, and then this is what we call unconditional compassion. This, this inner space is not something you make, is you discover this inner space. You go deep of ourself is a space. It is there. Yes. Always. Yes. In the space is nothing, you know, possible grabbing space. You know, then space nobody possible hurt. <laughs> That's his essence of compassion, you know. Therefore, I always think in the Western world, let's say especially, but the Western world is very, I think we have practiced kindness a lot, but we need to practice a little more compassion. Can you explain more what you mean by practicing compassion? It's, uh, What's the difference between compassion and the kindness? You know, kindness antidote of anger. Kindness, anger, no possible go to generally same. You know, but kindness not antidote of attachment. You know, maybe you are very kind. The big force of kindness, you don't have anger at the moment, mm -hmm. but kindness become attachment possible. Therefore, kindness is antidote of anger, but not antidote of the attachment. Compassion is not antidote of anger, but antidote of attachment. Therefore, you need both. Therefore, we always say, kindness, you possible misunderstand attachment. Compassion, you possible mis misunderstand or anger or sadness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, people who practice compassion and they become very, very unhappy, sad person. Let's say practice of kindness is, I say, happiness is a follow you. The practice of compassion, nothing make you go to hurt and the pain. Because I see in the many Western my friends, many people hurt, hurt. They hurt, they just keep something and they something, you know, ask why you're not happy. Oh, many years ago something happened. What happened is very small thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Very small thing they happen in their life and this they're keeping and they're unhappy, you know. Mm -hmm. They're still attached. Yes. To the situation. Yes. That's what I say, compassion. Yeah. Because something nice, you feel easy to kindness. But something not nice, you need to feel compassion. Mm -hmm. You, in your life, always have two phases. Something going, you know, something nice thing. What you, f sometimes people also don't like nice things, of course, because of their jealous or whatever. But 
if you like the nice things of yourself, nice things for others, you know, you have a kindness, you are always happy of all nice things, you know. No, you know, oh wow, this person is nice. Oh, well, I'm happy, you know. Oh, nice, you are so beautiful. Oh wow, you have nice, oh yeah, you know. The kindness make you celebrate of all good things. Uh, of your things, also other things. But some people never happy over other good things, other success things, other beauty, because they don't have a kindness. The compassion, uh, sorry, the, the compassion means is the, you have a space or you have a tolerated of also things got wrong. It's not longer hurt you. Maybe, I don't know, you did something wrong or somebody something did wrong. It's, it's something not nice things happening. You know, that's also part of life and you need to live with that. And this, then we say, be compassion. Be compassion means Something happened, what's it? Something mm. happening, what you don't like. You leave it. Yeah. And when you compassion, and this no longer hurt you. Mm -hmm. It's not part of you. Yes. But we always make example, this very, compassion is very complicated practice. We always make a different person and action. Example, you did something really not good to me. I compassion you, but I against your wrong actions. Mm-hmm. You need to separate. Yes. Compassion means in the Buddhism world we are never accepting to against a person. But I go to against your wrong actions. Why against your wrong action? Because I'm compassion you. And this way I'm not your wrong action is not to hurt me, mm -hmm. but uh, still I have a courage to help you, you know. Therefore, yeah, therefore, hopefully, yeah, something look like this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you once told me that some people make their life so complicated for themselves. You know, if you have, especially, I don't know how it is in, in, in Tibet, but in, in the Western world, we have so many things going on in the mind. And we get crazy. And we have anxiety and burnouts and stress and whatever. And then I know w during the talk you were making this funny sound, you know, to to break the state of being mm -hmm. from a person, and then y you lose the f the fear or the state you're in. Yes, and sometimes we have this kind of mantra, of mantra pet we call. Mm -hmm. Is the maybe this the. Uh, the because um, sometimes you you are you are you are grabbing something's or you are touching attached to something's and then you make this stone mantra pet and then short time is you go to silence you know or your mind is so crowded so many things happening and then is suddenly you make the pain mantra sound very strong and then to go to silence, you know? Because it's so many noise happening in your mind and then I say be silence is difficult. But I make a bigger noise than you have a noise and that is the short of that is a short moment of opportunity to what say to 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 connect it, our inner peace, because you already you have so many things happening in your head and this and that. Then I say calm, relax. You know the noise is too loud. But then I make more. I make a stronger noise than or what happened mm -hmm. in you. So you distract me from yes. my noise. Yes. Therefore, sometimes we do also mantras. Yeah. Because you have already the noise of thought so much, it's look like a waterfall, you know. Mm -hmm. Thought is coming, going, I rise, disappear, and then we make the mantra, and the mantra is the helping to, to
to the noise of the thoughts, emotions to come down. Whoever wants a difficult life, never forget to change others. Is whoever wants unhappy life, never forget to change in others. Change in others is ignorance. Mm-hmm. I always say people, whoever want simple life, uh, yes, never forget to change yourself. Changing yourself become changing world. When you change, world changing without changing anybody. Mm-hmm. You only have to change yourself. Yes. You only have to work on yourself. Yes. Changing others, me, is the most terrible ignorance. Changing yourself, me, is wisdom. Mm-hmm. Final question. What is wisdom? Well, I make a different and wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge you possible learn or somebody possible give you. Wisdom is not something you possible learn. Knowledge is m- is more discrimination and uh, discrimination awareness. Knowledge gives you some kind of awareness, but discrimination awareness. Mm-hmm. Me is a culture, is a knowledge. Religion is knowledge. Philosophy is knowledge. Maybe science is also knowledge. The knowledge always make discrimination. Is knowledge is awareness? Yes. But is complete awareness? No. Therefore, knowledge is dangerous. Knowledge without wisdom. Exactly. Therefore, me is the... Wisdom means is natural awareness, not discrimination awareness. Discrimination awareness, you possible teach me, I possible learn. It's conditioned. Yes. You said, you know, discrimination awareness, yes, you possible teach me, and I possible learn. But nature awareness, nobody possible teach you. You never possible learn. It's only discover. Therefore, meditation is the only way to discover its nature awareness. Therefore, I always say, in this world, no need more knowledge, need more awareness or wisdom. The awareness of wisdom you possible discovering through of meditation. Let's say this way. What really mean in the what say meditation everyday life? I always say people, you know, maybe you forget everything what you learn. No problem, but I always one thing you remember. To remember, be calm. Once you're more calm, you're more in the awareness. Without awareness, knowledge is dangerous. Therefore, human beings is more dangerous than cows, animals. Because we possible learn knowledge. I know many people very excited of this education, all this education, so what educated society. But knowledge without awareness, awareness or wisdom, awareness is very dangerous. Mm-hmm. The wisdom you you mean is that more knowing 
Is it more the connection with a source of life or the Buddha or the Buddha mind? Is that a kind of connection, what you mean by the wisdom you can only learn by meditation? I, I say it this way, yes. The, <clears throat> uh, the me is the here wisdom, let's say wisdom means is the nature awareness. And uh, the nature awareness is uh, uh, they no have influence. Knowledge never free of influence. Mm -hmm. Never pure. Never, never pure. You never trust your knowledge. Always question mark. Therefore, I told we need third consciousness, consciousness of meditation. Is this natural awareness. Therefore, when we are meditated, we are not learning something, and we also not changing something. When we meditate means we stay in the natural state of our mind. And then awareness or the wisdom arise. The wisdom or this nature awareness is not knowledge. This is the heart of all of the Buddhas. Mm -hmm. Yes, therefore, I th always say people Always remember, let's say, calm. Mm -hmm. Once you're more calm, you're more near of the wisdom. Yeah. Without calmness, knowledge, maybe go to kill, kill yourself or you go to kill somebody. Knowledge, you possible misuse. But wisdom is never you go misuse. So we need more nature awareness, more wisdom. Yes. And then we can make this planet a more loving place. Exactly. More loving awareness. Exactly. Knowledge maybe is more culture or more religion or more philosophy. We never possible have one religion. We never possible have one culture. Of course, but we possible have one awareness. Therefore, awareness is most pure. Awareness you possible discover maybe through of meditation. And meditation is not religion, I think, because you're not learning anything. Therefore, yes, my conclusion, I think, we need more awareness. Oh, we need more awareness or wisdom. I mean here, we need more wisdom means here more awareness. 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 Yes, I think so. <laughs> Toku, thank you so much for all of your wisdom. Yes, yes. All of these wise teachings. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Thank you very Thank much. You. I have this uh, opportunity yes. to talk and uh, yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.